Hi guys, it's Jessie here. Today we're gonna learn Chinese with Uncle Raja. We know that he's Malaysian Chinese, but how good is his Chinese? Let's find out. Okay. Hi, uh, Uncle Roger, busy. I don't want to do radio interview. Hi, uh, what is this? What is this? Is this my? Yeah. Everybody listen to my. Everybody <laughs> listen to podcast now. We have your fans, Chen Peiyong. Okay. Uh, I I don't know who Peiyong is. So it's. His Mandarin is super good. Basically, a native speaker. And notice how Uncle Roger said the word who. I don't know who Peiyong is. So it's. It actually has two pronunciations. Shui. Or shui. Usually, shui is more formal and shui is more casual. But really, you can say either one. However, it's also a surname, and when it's surname, it can only be pronounced as shui. Yeah, let's go on. I can't wait to hear more. 在进入正式的访问之前，先来考一考 Uncle Roger 的中文能力。Ten, ten, ten. Oh no. Level one. 名以什么为天？是不是食食物的食？哎呀，不错啊。OK，, okay level two。哦，这个我知道，苦中作乐。哎呦，厉害哦，不用选择题哦，听听听。第三题就比较难一点点啦、啊、，Level Three。我觉得鸡腿我喜欢，鸡蛋也是好，所以我觉得这个就鸡肋吧，是不是？叮叮叮 ！Oh my God, he nailed it! Didn't even hesitate and answered all the questions correctly. These are Chinese idioms. The first one is 民以食为天 ，Food is the god of people. The second one is 苦中作乐 ，To find joy in sorrows. 苦 means bitter or sorrow or hardship. 苦中作乐。The third one, 食之无味，弃之可惜。Tasteless but wasteful to discard. Is it used to describe chicken leg, eggs, or chicken ribs? It's interesting that Uncle Roger pronounced rib as 乐，鸡乐吧，鸡乐，鸡乐。But in Chinese mainland where I'm from, we pronounce that as 肋。鸡肋 I know in Taiwan is 鸡肋 I wasn't sure if it's 鸡肋 or 鸡肋 in Malaysia, but now I guess it's also 鸡肋 By the way, 鸡肋 doesn't just mean chicken ribs. It has also become an adjective to describe something meaningless or useless. For example, 苹果无线充电器很鸡肋 Yeah. Tell me about it. 本是同根生，相煎何太急？形容的是哪种食物呢？一定是豆吧。哎，上次午餐肉没有根。你很笨呐耶。That's very impressive. 本是同根生，相煎何太急 are two lines from a Chinese poem. You guys have probably seen it in Elon Musk's tweet. 我很好奇，就是在 Asian country 有没有一些呃，可能他是谐星 comedian 是你欣赏的呢？周星驰 ，of course， E V B。Seven Chao Gan。啊，修兰足球。啊。He speaks Cantonese too. Oh my god. By the way, Shaolin Soccer is a very good Seven Chao film. You guys should watch it now if you haven't. 修兰功夫好耶，真好耶。少林功夫劲，冇得顶啊 ！This is awesome. So he speaks both Cantonese and Mandarin. His Cantonese is better than mine. I speak Mandarin and I'm learning Cantonese. However, if you have a Cantonese background and want to learn Mandarin, you can actually learn Mandarin a lot faster than normal with the Canto to Mando Blueprint. Even if you speak broken Cantonese and can't read or write, the Canto to Mando Blueprint will help you speak conversationally fluent Mandarin in six weeks. It's designed specifically Specifically for Cantonese speakers to learn Mandarin, there are over 300 lessons from beginner, intermediate to advanced. Sheldon is gonna guide you to convert your Cantonese skills to Mandarin. You take the Cantonese gun, replace it with the Mandarin zai, and then instead of putting it after the verb, you put it before the verb. Notice how it's the same sentence, same characters, and everything except for the one thing Sheldon highlighted and told us to change. In each lesson, there's gonna be a flowchart where you can see the direct conversions from Cantonese to Mandarin, a vocabulary list which contains the Chinese characters, their pinyin and English meanings, a quiz to review what you just learned, and an assignment which leads to another feature that I absolutely love: the Facebook group. You can join as long as you're part of the course. 
course, you do your assignments here, you can post any questions you have about learning Mandarin. Sheldon and other instructors are going to answer within 24 hours. You can also find a partner to practice your Mandarin with, which is a very important step to your fluency. So guys, don't waste your Cantonese advantage. Sign up right now for the first webinar lesson for free. If you're interested in the course, get a discount with the code Jessie Loves Chinese. The link is in the description box below. Don't miss it. Now let's get back to Uncle Roger. You know, you, you stand-up comedian? Mm. Okay, it took him about a second to think about how to say stand-up comedian in Chinese, but that was pretty quick. Oh, come on, that's already so good. I feel like Uncle Roger and Nigel are so different. This is Nigel talking, you know, humble and nice. I feel like the more you get to know him, the more you like him, right? <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I like how we switch between two personas. That was so smooth. <laughs> this is interesting, you know. I remember the first time I watched Uncle Roger's videos and he said, Hi ya and for you. That sounds familiar. It's kind of different from what we say in China, but it's really close. In China we say aya and ayo, but not haiya and fuyu. They're they're close, right? These these are like interjections. You can say it when you're mad, surprised, disappointed, or just whenever you feel like it. Lots of Asian countries have interjections like this. The way Uncle Roger says it is just really relatable. Aya, okay, so obviously Uncle Roger's Chinese is amazing. He speaks both Cantonese and Mandarin and he's so fluent. Definitely an inspiration. So if you're interested in learning Chinese, start now. Do not waste any minutes. Hope you guys have learned something new from this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.